Okay, so welcome to day 41 of Keep Golf Going. So today we're going to talk about the 100, 120 yard shot, which we want to flight the ball down, creating a lot of spin, getting that ball to hop on the green and then check up and stop fairly quickly. So one of the best players on the tour for this used to be a guy called um, Steve Stricker. Um, and the best part about his game was his wedge play and his putting. So when he was playing on wedge, what he did, he was one of the first players to really sort of take this to the tour, is he fused his wrist. He never really used too much wrist action. So he takes it back, holds it here, and it's very locked in the wrist and very locked coming through. It's a bit more mechanical. So what he does is he plays it slightly back on his stance, feet slightly left for target, and then just takes the club back, turning your stomach, your shoulders, and let your arms just follow feeling like there's not too much wrist action, so it's nice and solid in the wrist. So take it back, and then a slightly restricted follow through. This brings the ball flight down, but it still puts loads of spin on the ball and gets it to flight low, check up, and stop quickly. What a lot of people do, and they do this wrong, is they play the ball up very high. So they play a standard shot, full backswing, full follow through, the ball flies up very high, comes down and stops quickly, but if it's windy, you're not gonna get that flight under the wind. And it actually flies, believe it or not, a lot straighter when you restrict your wrist movement. So I'll do one more um, Steve Stricker shot, and you'll see Tommy Fleetwood, he does a similar swing in his, in his main swing. So slightly back in the stance, slightly left in the feet, fuse the wrist, and then just take it back like your wrists are locked, wrists are locked, and bringing it through. So this is gonna get you lots of spin, it's gonna bring your ball flight down, it's the modern way of attacking those pins from 100 to about 120. And you can just hear by the strike of that, it's got loads of spin on it, and as I'm coming down, I'm trapping the ball, the ball's running up the club face, and it's got a lot of spin on it, but the ball flight is quite low. So that's how you attack the pins, keeping that ball nice and low, but loaded with spin. You take care, and I'll see you soon.